So this is our TMS device at Kadima, and um, after almost 15 years of experience with TMS, both treating uh, patients with TMS and doing research into TMS, um, uh, I feel uh, very confident that uh, we now have the most advanced uh, TMS device on the market. I have used many different uh, devices over the years, but uh, uh, this one um, it really stands out in terms of uh, its uh, unique features. And I wanted to go through and point out some of those, uh, those features to you. First of all, um, as you can see, um, uh, um, that there are these three um, helmet-like uh, components here. And these, these are actually the coils, uh, the TMS coils. And the coils are the most important part of the, the TMS device because it, this is the part that, that actually comes in contact with the patient's head. And uh, it's the part that actually uh, directs the uh, magnetic field beam towards the areas of the brain that we're trying to exercise by stimulating them and causing them to get stronger and make more connections with each other. Um, so, um, uh, one unique feature about the Brainsway device, it's the only uh, of the T FDA approved TMS devices that have a coil that's in a helmet shape. And the actual, uh, the, the actual coil itself uh, is the insert inside, this is sort of the plastic uh, outer part. And what this, uh, what's unique about this, it allows us uh, to uh, fit the coil snugly. Once we find the right location, the coil fits snugly on the patient and, and allows the patient to actually move without um, interfering with the, you know, the contact um, that we've established for the right location. So that's, that's quite unique. Uh, uh, other devices, usually kind of patients need to kind of uh, maintain a posture in order to maintain that contact, but this uh, offers more flexibility and more, I think, more uh, comfort for, for patients. Um, another uh, uh, important thing about um, the, um, the, the TMS uh, device produced by uh, Brainsway, it actually goes by a separate designation. Um, it goes by a designation of deep TMS, and that's to distinguish it from sort of the standard TMS. One of the limitations that's always been an issue with TMS since it was first FDA approved in 2008 was that it, it was the, the coils that, uh, that we had originally were limited in terms of how deep they could penetrate into those important brain areas that we were targeting. And they were also limited in terms of how much of the uh, brain was actually being stimulated. And um, that was a, a, a really difficult challenge engineering-wise, but um, Brains was able to kind of overcome that challenge and, and uh, come out with these patented, uh, what we call H coils, which distinguishes it from the, all the other devices which use versions of the figure of eight coil. So these uh, H coils are designed to, to go deeper into the areas we're trying to exercise and also to, to go wide, a little bit wider. So it's, uh, it, it produces a more uh, robust kind of uh, uh, brain stimulation. Um, now deep TMS is also unique in that we have three FDA um, approved coils. It's the only device that has these three uh, coils. And each coil is actually engineered to target different areas of the brain. Uh, and we utilize these different uh, coils depending on patients' uh, particular symptoms and, what, uh, and which symptoms are, are, are impacting their quality of life the most. First of all, in the, in the center here, we have what's called the H1 coil. The H1 coil was the first one that was approved um, by the FDA, and this coil was originally uh, approved to, to treat uh, major depressive disorder. It's uh, since been approved to also uh, uh, treat anxiety uh, that, that often goes with uh, uh, major depression. And um, this coil over here closest to me is called the H7 coil. It actually targets a different area of the brain, an area that's, that's highly involved in producing the symptoms of OCD. And so this coil is actually uh, approved uh, for the treatment of OCD. And actually, the most recent research also indicates that this coil can be effective um, for depression, just as effective uh, uh, as the original H1 coil. But it, uh, the two coils may actually target different features of depression, so we can actually select which of the coils to use depending on each individual patient's particular 
uh, you know, characteristics of their depression. And then finally, we have uh, this coil over here uh, on the far side of me, this uh, coil with the green coloration. It's called the uh, H4 coil, and it targets yet a different area of the brain, an area of the brain that's been highly uh, um, implicated in producing uh, the, the features of uh, addiction. So that coil actually is currently app uh, approved by the FDA for treating smoking addiction. And uh, we think that um, we have a great uh, expectation that um, it's going to be approved for other addictions as well. And those are going to, we, we anticipate, are going to be forthcoming. So there you have it. This is the, uh, the Brainsway family of coils. Uh, Brainsway, um, um, I feel, has been sort of taking the lead in terms of uh, R&D for, for this exciting field of TMS. And uh, we also uh, uh, know that they've got some really interesting new technology that is coming out. And, um, um, and um, being a, um, uh, being a, uh, a long, having a long-term relationship with the company as a scientific advisor, you know, Kadima is, is always going to be at the forefront of having the uh, er early access to that technology. And so um, um, we're very excited about, uh, about uh, what we, we currently are able to do and, and also um, very excited about uh, what we uh, have uh, uh, great expectations in terms of what we're going to be able to be doing in the next few years in terms of helping people uh, treat their mental illness.